What is good up nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one only AMC stock, what you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to be breaking down what on earth the FTD data is suggesting and how many of these AMC shares would hypothetically have to be covered by the shorts at the very least. And before I actually break down the numbers for you and talk about why on earth the shorts are in a very, very tough position still, I do have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this not only benefits me it benefits the entire ape community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below and in the description if you sign up for mumu the link down below and deposit a hundred dollars into the account you're guaranteed up to 10 free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars and you can always sell these 10 free stocks for cash and use that cash to buy some amc shares for free it's a limited time offer the offer has been extended for another two weeks so please check it out before they run out but that's out of the way let's get on with the video so looking at amc obviously we are looking at the share price and it's not necessarily at those high levels a lot of people wanted to be at and i totally understand why on earth a lot of people are feeling frustrated they're like very angry uh they're exhausted i understand everything but one good thing about all of this is it really forges us into much 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 stronger people and on top of that it really really fortifies what on earth our true intentions are. We know that AMC is not like a get rich quick scheme or anything like that. We know it requires lots of DD, lots of research, lots of intelligence, lots of hard work. And all of those things put together are what really, really fortify this play. And on top of that, it really helps more people just hold on to their shares because it really helps them understand that we've been through so much already. And if we sell out now, you know, you're going to take the loss if you if you're um buy-in price was lower so it's really your choice but i'm just putting it out there that a lot of people are still strong they're not quitting i believe most people won't quit and when it comes to the situation okay we could be entering the end game soon it still is possible and when i say that the end game is coming the question is who's going to fold first because if we fold the shorts could get away they could cover their shares easily but if we don't fold if we just hold on However, however much time it takes, another few weeks, another few months, if we just hold and we don't give up, the shorts will eventually, I do believe many of them will cover. And I do believe we're going to see the share price explode. Now, I'm not going to really go over the hypotheticals about where the price could go. I still believe it could go into the thousands from a squeeze. But I want to talk about something else. How many of these short positions do the shorts have to cover? If you actually look at the data, the current short interest percentage of the free float is 21.58%. This is just from Ortex. It's a screenshot from Ortex. The live short interest was at 111 million of those shares. So we can actually calculate it right over here. Uh, when we have 21.58% short interest, 21.58% of the 516 million legal float of AMC gives you over 111 million shares that were shorted through legal means. Right, we know this, but it doesn't necessarily account for the entire amount of synthetics out there or the FTDs. And if we want to account for synthetics, that's where this part comes in here because the FTDs could be an indication of that. Now, please note FTDs don't guarantee synthetics. I can't promise you that these numbers right here guarantee it, but they're very, very likely being formed because of synthetics. It's very likely considering the price action, considering how much we've been buying and AMC's price going down. So with that said, when you add up all these numbers, right, you're easily going to get over 600 million of them, if not billions, if we actually see the full report. But as of right now, we know it's over 600 million, right? On one day alone, they had 28 million of these FTDs, which is not normal whatsoever i mean it's just crazy so if you account for the ftds which could be indications of those synthetic positions the synthetic shorts that were created that adds another 600 million of the ftds maybe even more because i'm not counting the most recent data from like august the data isn't out yet it ends at the end of july so it's going to take like another month for it to actually appear a couple of weeks so with that said it could easily be much higher than this. The number keeps going up over and over again as the large majority of these short positions haven't been covered. If you just do some basic math, you have the legal shares right here, 111 million plus 
another 600 plus million from the FTDs. And there could be more than that, right? It could easily be a billion. We're just going to go with the lower end of this. It still is very likely that the shorts would have to cover off 711 million of these positions, which could cause AMC to squeeze to the thousands. Now, I don't want to guarantee any particular number, but I want to put it out there that the data is still suggesting the same things. And what is looking good, in my honest opinion, is the cost to borrow is going up again. Right now, this was just from AMC alone. We're seeing the cost to borrow averages at 32%, according to Ortex. The minimum was at 15%, the max was at 50%. So this also has to do with the interest rates going up. That does make it more expensive for the shorts, the lack of liquidity, and the huge demand for these positions for the AMC shares to short them down. That could also bring the cost to borrow up. So we're seeing high demand for AMC shorts to really short this thing down. We're seeing lots of manipulation that's dictating the price. We're also seeing the fact that they have not covered all their positions. Now, even if they don't end up covering these synthetics, I want to actually account for this too. They still have to cover over a hundred million of these positions, and that could easily cause AMC squeezing to the hundreds, if not around a thousand dollars a share, if we get crazy FOMO and things like that. So it still has insane potential to run. All right, that's my main point. And I'm not necessarily a financial planner. I'm not guaranteeing that you know you you have to hold on to your AMC or anything like that. That's really your own choice. I just wanted to put the information out there and show you guys what the data is showing us. And the last thing I want to talk about before I end the video is I really appreciate everyone that's a part of this movement. It is definitely very exhausting. It's very hard for lots of people that put their money into this. And they a lot of people could be down on their positions. A lot of people bought in at much higher places. My point is it's hard and you could do what you want to do. But I know one thing and that is most people aren't going to quit. They're not going to give up. And when the whole ape uh, came out, the equity units, there was a lot of FUD spreading. A lot of people were talking about how ape is a dumb move. It's never going to help AMC during the squeeze. And my honest opinion of that is ape could be diluted many times. I don't think they're going to dilute it with every single one of those 5 billion potential units that they could use. But I do believe one thing about ape, and that is it is still good for AMC fundamentally. It could help increase the odds of a short squeeze thanks to the big potential it has to pay off their debt, not to mention the, the external value it has thanks to the potential of apes becoming AMC shares one day. That's also possible. I'm not promising it, but I just wanted to put all this information out there for each and every one of you. With that said and done, thank you all for listening. Please have an absolutely fantastic rest of the day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is bright and peace out.